From hunting down a shark in Jaws to making contact with extraterrestrials and close encounters of the third kind, our next guest has certainly made his mark in Hollywood. But now Academy Award winning actor Richard Dreyfuss is starring in a new role. He wants to put American civics classes back in the classroom and Richard Dreyfuss joins us now. Good morning, Richard. Hiya. So what's happened to civics classes? Why did they go away? Well, if uh, civics is the comprehension and maintenance of this Republican democracy, then what's happened to it are these shows which are three minutes in length well, and you can't what? get anything said. Well, you know, we this is capitalism, right? And we, we put on a show every morning where we invite different viewpoints in here to have a civil discourse on Fox and Friends. You'd be hard pressed to find another show that allows different viewpoints to be able to share their thoughts about American society. Can, you, can you name That's one? True. I can I can tell you though that the advertising company or agency that breaks away from the herd and does it differently will gain both in monetarily and in cultural gratitude. You think that though there have been number number of people who've tried to do that but let's talk about the classroom because for me my history teacher was the reason that I was so encouraged to go to college. I mean my history teacher changed my life. He was the guy that made me a history major in college. But we you're saying that we're lacking that same type of teaching and learning in classrooms. How do we get it back? Uh, first of all you insist on it. Second of all you don't give in to arbitrary rules that force you into thinking more stupidly than you normally would. Hmm. And when you have to uh, listen to the advertiser's rules of time, you are thinking in terms of soundbite and not in terms of content. Yeah, but surely it's not just the media that has been responsible for civics going away. I mean, something has happened nope. in the education system, and you say that not teaching civics is as dangerous as not teaching medicine. How so? Um, I would say, is there anyone out there who believes that running this country with excellence is easier than being a doctor or an airline pilot? No. To be a monarch or a sovereign takes training and rigor, and every sovereign in history has had tutors to accomplish that except us. And Richard, I know that you say the answer is to reject simplistic thinking, but how do we do that? Is this up to the teachers? Is this up to local school boards? Is this up to the parents? What can we do today? It's up to the students to tap their parents on the shoulders and say, we want a more rigorous training in how to run the country. It's up to the parents to tap the, sh the supers on the shoulders and say, we are behind you. And it is up to the culture to understand that one part of the culture is in the classroom and the others are taking the values taught in civics and bled out into art, history, theater, music, etc. You've also lent your uh, Academy Award winning voice to a new audio book uh, called America the Beautiful, Be Beautiful Reflections on Her Past, Present and Future. Why did you cho uh, choose to lend your voice to this book and what's it about? Because this is the story, this was, book was written by a man from India who had spent most of his life in a religious cult kind of monastery, came to America and fell in love with America's potential and wrote the book. And I am a fervent believer that we are the most singular and have given the greatest gifts to mankind. And the only ones that don't know that are our own kids. Hmm. Well, if people want to learn more about everything you're talking about, they can go to the DreyfusInitiative.org. I'll put that address on my blog. Richard Dreyfus, thanks so much for coming in to talk about all this. Thanks, Richard. <laughs> he seems so grateful, guys. Oh, coming up, what's the, speaking of rude, what's the rudest city in America? Is it New York? Is it Chicago? The answer may surprise you.